Hey guys, so I've been a total bum today. I'm still in my pajamas. Uh, I wasn't gonna do my makeup. My hair looks like caca. School is starting and I wanted to give you guys some awesome ideas um, for the school year. And this one's kind of like my summer isn't over yet and it's not yet fall transition and then they make love and this is what comes out of it so if you guys i know it's really graphic right if you guys like this look it's really fun it's really easy vibrant beautiful works with every skin tone every eye color uh stay tuned and here's my tutorial just be kind because i haven't done a tutorial in like forever so yeah stay tuned and i'll show you how to do it I'm going to take Rubenesque paint pot. You can't really see the name anymore. It looks like this. Just a really subtle orange. Here, I'll show you again. Looks like this. I usually press my finger in there, wait for a couple minutes till it kind of melts onto your finger like this to room temperature. And then I'll go ahead and apply it on my lid. Next, I'm going to take a flat brush, and this is a MAC 232, I believe. Just a regular basic flat brush. And I am going to take a golden color, which is gorgeous gold. Just like this, just a really beautiful gold. And we're going to pat this color on the lid. We're going to start from the, by the inner corner of the eye. And stop until about halfway. Switch it to this flat brush. I am going to take a orangey color, no specific brand, and I'm going to place it right over that Rubenesque, kind of blending it in. Not worrying about blending right now because we're just kind of setting it up for the transition that's going to happen right there. So once that is on there, we're going to go ahead and grab another gold color, and this one is called Gold or Gold Mine from Mac. Looks like this. And we're going to go right in the middle between that orange and that gold originally, and we're just kind of blend it together. So it creates like a little transitioning. Once that's blended together, you're going to see a nice transition from the gold into the gold line into the orange we just applied on both sides. So there's no harsh lines. We're then going to take a crease brush like this and I'm going to use a dark golden purple and it is called Trax from MAC which is this really pretty golden purple um, it's not very pigmented so it's easy to work with because you can just layer it on so I'm gonna go a little bit above the crease bone and just kind of windshield wiper it back and forth And my goal is to make it darker on this and to kind of just fade out as you go in. So I'm always going to, going to apply and I'm going to cut it in so it's like a V. And apply it the darkest right on the outside and blending it in as you go in. So once we go ahead and even it on both sides, we're going to take a cream color, neutral color, doesn't matter what you use, and I'm going to use Max Rice Paper, which is this one right here. We're going to put that on the brow bone as a highlight, and it also kind of blends out the harsh line that we just made with the tracks.
For a softer eyeliner, I'm going to do a liquid eyeliner, but for a softer one, you could either use eyeshadow with a um, angled brush like so and just kind of make it more natural. I'm going to use, like I said, the liquid liner, so I'm going to take my 311 brush and MAC Glitz and Glitz this. It's just a deep black with like little gold flecks in it. And then just my flat brush, angled brush, whatever you feel comfortable with. Go ahead and do a deep purple on the bottom. Not exactly on the waterline, so I'm taking a flat brush like this, just a bright, vibrant purple, and following it along the lash line. Next, we're going to take that flat angled brush again, and this time, we're going to take something for an inner corner highlight to kind of look more awake. And I'm going to use this Lorac 3D Luster. And I'm just going to drop just a teeny bit onto my brush. And we're just going to kind of dab it right into the inner corner. Like so. Blending in with the yellowish gold that we put in there earlier. Mascara. I'm going to use Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Looks like this in a purple bottle. And I don't like to do a lot of coats. You can if you want. It's really entirely up to you. I like to wiggle at the base of the lashes, wiggle it all the way up because that will give it a natural slight curl as well as prevent clumping. Um, in addition to the white inner corners, by using a normal white eyeliner and going on the waterline on the inside of that purple. Don't mind the use of no, I have absolutely no foundation or concealer on, so this is all natural. And this is the end result for the eye look. Uh, a good back to school fall transition. Um, it kind of reminds me of a sunset, so it's like a fall transition and then definitely fall with the dark purple. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. It was really, really easy, really fun. You can use any dupe you want. Um, play around a little bit. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you all soon. Bye.